Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we... Well, the only important thing is we got the bell. In this... Oh, and the second pouch. I forgot about the second pouch. Now that we can swing our bow and shoot our bow. Two useful items. So, now that we have our pouch and the bell, we can fly everywhere and still be able to get... Like, still be able to pull out our bow and catch any... Which, I've been running into a lot of them, really. I guess I have been cutting more grass than I used to. Excuse me, birds. I was going to read that sign, but you kind of ruined it. We will head north and find... a lot of enemies. Running back will let us kill that bird without really any witness. It's not like the old games, and... Look at this guy's house. It looks like something bad's happened. A rock seems to have and broken through the roof. Let's take a look. And we meet Rosso. Ugh, these rocks. Real pain in the neck. And he chucks a rock. So, all those rocks we've been seeing, we're gonna get him to move for us, right? A customer? Hey, you're that kid who works for the blacksmith, right? Decided you had enough of that place, and it's a hey, huh? Here to be my apprentice, maybe? Ha ha ha! Just joking. I wouldn't do that to your master. But we do want to talk to him, anyways. It was on the mountain mining ore when all of a sudden the earth started shaking. When I got home, the place was a wreck. Rocks everywhere. You seen outside? I'll be busting my back for days to clean up that mess. At least picking up rocks and smashing things feels pretty good. Wish they were full of good ore, though. What? You want to try too? Rah! Feels good smashing stuff. Huh? You can't do it? Sorry to hear, kid. Can't see stand to see a nice kid like you not being able to throw your weight around. Here, take this. It's a hand-me-down from yours truly. But we are given the power glove. You ought to feel it. Pick up rocks. Well, smaller ones anyways. If you can't get yourself to smash, you can't stop smashing. <laughs> can't stop yourself? There's a whole bunch of them outside. It's a joke, really. Wouldn't tell you to do my work out there. Still, if you do it, who am I to stop you? And tell that old smithy master said hello, so now we can pick up these rocks, which is needed to go up to Death Mountain. For some reason, I guess as he was saying, yeah, but we can throw around these rocks. It's not too difficult, and that does unlock a lot of places for us just because of that. But the reason we wanted to get this power was to open up this doorway. Since you cannot open it without the ability to lift rocks. And we can head up to Death Mountain now. Increasing our rupees as we go, of course. Huh. But we would be blocked here normally. Oh, we are blocked because it... As I say, we can just merge into the wall and go around it, but no, they thought of that with these little pathways they've got blocking it. So we can't quite get to that area yet. Must be on our way down is when we can get through there. But we'll continue our way, our trek right through this area, killing all the mini Moldorms. Which I think is their name, and Spiral Cave is what I think, well at least that's what they refer to, a cave that looks like this one in A Link to the Past. But this gets us out to the top of the mountain, I think, or at least the side. And you can see it is currently erupting. Yes, currently erupting. So just hitting these guys will freeze them for a second. And if you see any rocks, like the one I literally just picked up before I noticed, um, with green on them, they can be uh, used to, like, you slice your sword over them and you get rupees. But we found a weather vane, which will put us halfway up Death Mountain now. New weather vane has been added to the map. Save your progress? Not yet. It's only been about five minutes into the episode. I can't save yet. So we can't get past these guys, but. Merging into the wall lets us get past these big rupees. Oh, well, we'll climb up the ladder then. And lets us get over these gaps. So it's, it's one of the other ways they try to block this area out from you until you've uh, at least fought Yuga. 
Let's let all three of these guys pass. Oh. Oh, come on. There's no way I can get past that right yet. Good. After all of those have passed, we can merge back to the wall to avoid this last one. And I went way over. Yeah, we couldn't have gone through the wall in that area, so. This last door over here brings us to a nice treasure. Another ru red rupee. Not the most useful thing. But you can see there's a ruby, like a rock right there that would work. Danger, don't fall. So, first things first, let's freeze these guys. Ooh, especially now that we have no... Yeah, no. Yeah, you slice these, and it throws rupees in. But I don't trust it well enough. We only have a heart and a half, so until we heal up, we're going to be a little more careful. I know we have the fairy, I just rather would not use it at this point. We don't get another fairy for a bit. And that actually will work great because of this thing that we're seeing right here. We can try this rock, slice up all we're doing, and a blue rupee signifies the end of the money from it. It's been a really calm and quiet area right now. Which is weird for, you know, a middle of an erupting volcano. Ah, uh, we can see there's a big gap here, and we can't take it, so we gotta go down another layer. Oh, but we can't get over it from that other layer. Where do we go up, then? Oh. I guess we don't. We just come out out here. And then we go back in over here. I guess. And that puts us on the opposite side, allowing us to go up another level. Nope. Just gonna ignore you two. But you can see this this area here has got a lot of rupees. Should you need to grind rupees, it's the perfect place to do it. Uh, once you get another item later in the game, you can just uh, walk in here and just smash things till you have enough money. But we are up to the top of the mountain. You can see a tower to our right and an exit over here. So there's another cave that can we that can drop us further. But before we worry about that, we will see more hammers. Like, sorry, more pedestals saying our hammers. And we are at the Tower of Hera. Ignoring that, going a little further, what does this one say? Rosso's or mine. Look at this. Or not. Since we can no longer go to that, we're actually going to head back to our house. Since we can... Hey, nice bell ringing there. You're a natural. Hold tight so you don't fall. See, I'm looking out for you big time. Yes, Irene is looking out for us it's by giving us as much path, like as much help as possible. Our house looks a little different, but uh, we won't question it for now. We're going to head down and see if we can head over to the, um, whatever that one was, Tower of Gales. Oh, we can't jump down this slide. Oh, you can jump down here, though. Right onto an Octorok. Clearly intentioned. Intentional. In this cave is... Nothing. But if we take our lamp and actually put it out here, we can at least see enough to know there's nothing here. But a chest! And probably some rupees, because it's always rupees. 50 rupees! We are now at 665, I think? Yes, we need a rupee. No, a rupee. Fine. 670, we have been saved from the... So, continuing along this way, we can see that we can't actually get to where that area was up there, because, well, we have to come from above for it. Meaning, we've taken the wrong route to try to get to this uh, tower. Which I'm a little sad about. I thought I'd pick the right way. I don't think there actually is even a weather vane over here, so I don't know why I'm continuing. A bottle? I don't think I can get to that yet. Yeah, no, because that's in the place I'd be able to go down onto it and nothing. Okay, we can't get past that. We'll head back to our house and try again the correct route to go see it. 
The fortune teller is supposed to tell us where to go. I don't know why she's telling us this. The fortune teller could tell me. But she has also mentioned her grandma's house for potions. Avoiding a little extra damage here. So, we can see this cave. We do want bombs as soon as possible to get into there. But... We don't have them. Are you kidding me? There's a heart right there. Which I apparently cannot get unless I go on this side. So, we can see we've got a path up in this area to get us towards that tower. Walking across, and... And stretch. Don't, he seems to get around a lot. Don't forget to do your stretches. What? It's not your stretches that are troubling? It must be that building over there. What do you mean, which one? Yeah, you can see it if you use the D-pad. We can see there's a weather vane right on that building, but we can't even get to it because, spoiler, we can't swim. Until we get some flippers. This was the shop I was actually thinking of for, um, what's it called? Uh, the shield later. So we can't get there. What does this sign say? Grand opening. Essential gear for hero types rented at rock bottom prices. Just south of Hyrule Castle. Come on by. Can't wait to see you. So we have to go see Ravio because... I'm sorry, you've made my house a shop? At 683 rupees, we are entering the shop. Welcome back! What happened? Still haven't found anywhere else to stay, so I spruce things up in here. Yeah. Our bed has been thrown to the side. Made into a nice little shop for myself. Pretty great, isn't it? Uh, sure. Things didn't go as planned indeed. But, the item did come in handy. You know, wash my ears, I'll wash yours. Uh, alright, I guess that's a fine expression. How about we'll rent him his house and he'll rent us items. Yes, he's going to rent us items. It's not like we ever come here anyways. Rental period, that's the best part. You keep rentals for a long time, specifically until you fall in battle, which might never, indeed, it might never happen. I got away with not having to pay any uh, repays for Ra Ravio. Swoop in to collect my property. Just like that, swoop right in, collect the stuff while you uh, lie there. So, see anything you want? I got plenty of gear beside the bow. Anything you want, walk up to it. So, we have seen that we need this for Death Mountain. But I don't want that one. 100 rupees, what are you? 100 rupees? Okay, so we have a good chunk of money on us, so we can actually rent both the rods. They're just really useful as ranged attacks, so that's why I like to get them pretty early, even though they're expensive if you haven't been grinding as much money as I have. We're gonna grab the hammer, because we need the hammer, that's why it's got a special price. And as a result, we also need this. Special price as well. Fortunately, we do have enough rupees on us. We can rent everything in this shop. We're going to take bombs. They aren't needed, but once again, very helpful. The hookshot. The only thing we cannot rent, so we cannot grab from Ravio right now, is the sand rod, because it's currently being rented. But everything else, look at that. We've got, we still have plenty of rupees to spare. 293. See you next time. And his rental shop's good because just if anything happens, he's able to get back his items. But that's where we stop. We've got all the items from Ravio. We have gotten enough. We've reached the Tower of Hera. We cannot still get to the Tower of Gales. So we may have to do that next time, or we'll find our way there. Thank you all for watching A Legend of Zelda and A Link, a Link Between Worlds, and I'll see you guys next time.